and we will go ahead and start. All right. Hi, ladies. How's everybody doing today? Good. Good. Hey. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Love, love, love. Um, oops. Let me grab our, grab our notes, Cass. So I can start. Yeah, go ahead and start. Yeah. Okay. So we just want to hear from you guys. We want to hear um, how this past week was. Something positive and maybe something, some positives that you guys had and then maybe something that you, str you struggled with this week that we could talk about. Who wants to share first? Well, I can. Go ahead, Kristen. I'm just flipping back to my all my notes. I um, a positive that I had was that you guys are kicking my behind, and I managed to five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um, I did twenty five. Um, new reach outs this week. Yesterday, you probably saw on the page that I didn't do anything and I was like irritated. But um, so I was really happy about that. Got a lot of positive no's. And, and I go got, for them. Yeah. And I had a great three way phone call with a prospective business. Um, with somebody in the business. It went great. She wanted to say yes, and she called me yesterday in my very um, awful state and was like, I don't believe in the product. Ugh. I was like, okay, awesome. Bye. You're like, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, well, you should just, if you don't have one of those Bs, you're not going to be a good rep. So at least she let you know ahead of time, and you didn't have to deal with that struggle. Exactly. Yeah. So. That that was all good, and I get ready for we should not believe in it right now. But yeah, and she was somebody definitely that just you keep on keeping on and don't let it hold you know. Yeah, don't let it phase you. I the no, old me it would have phased me horribly, and I would have phased frozen. Uh oh. I would have gotten down and out, but I saw a sign at Target that I think I posted but in one of the rooms. It. And I, it's just like, you know what? Live, with, live life with intention. Go for it. There are going to be no's. There's going to be yeses. And I want, I want the best with me. So. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think anybody would be lying if everybody is, was going to say yes to you. <laughs> so you will get more no's than yeses, but... Man, those yeses are so awesome. <laughs> and what's really, really cool is you love on them and you thank them and you appreciate, and you know, at least they told you no. I, I think almost worse is the ones that don't tell you and just avoid you and don't call you back. So at least they told you no. Absolutely. And then you just keep on, you know, I don't know if they see you on Facebook or see you locally, but you just keep living the mission and, you know, go doing life as you, you're doing it now and, you know, you might be surprised. It's always those ones. I've had so many people that have told me flat out no, and they thought I was crazy, and, and they're on my team. Yeah. So, <laughs> you just never know. Or yeah. they're happy customers. Awesome. So, anything, any struggles or anything? That was all, I mean, I think that was all positive, even though it, it wasn't the positive answer that you wanted, but you seem like you handled it great. Yeah, no, I mean... I, something switched in my brain and I really, I'm not struggling right now. I'm, the no's aren't bothering me. The, all of the communication that I'm having with people, I'm not scared to do it. I've practiced my business and customer story like 500 times. Mm -hmm. it's, so it's, it's good. It was a good week. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Good for you, Kristen. And, and I know you're in a lot of pain and you can't even tell. Look at your smiling face. <laughs> and have a positive week. You're amazing. I'm so excited for you. That's awesome. 25 new reach outs. Yeah. Not caring about the nose. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. Lindsay, you want to share with us? Yes. So um, this is, uh, so I have, I have almost not done anything with my business for a couple years now. So this is me coming in from not doing a whole lot. So Kristen, you are, that's, that's so awesome. I love hearing your story and thank you for sharing that. Mine looks very different 
Um, I am excited because I have actually, I since conference, um, I have a potential distributor who I had shared Juice Plus with before, and she is excited to look at the business now. So I'm excited about that. Um, um, I just totally, I randomly asked our library if they wanted to do a tower garden booth and they were excited about it and they gave me another lead and our school is interested in um, doing tower gardens for the school as well. So I'm bringing mine to the school. So um, um, I have not, I have not been as, I haven't been as vigorous with contacting people about, about Juice Plus, the product yet. Um, however, a lot of the business leads have kind of come out since we got back from conference, which is cool. Like that's like zero to 60 for me, literally, because I really wasn't doing much before. Um, uh, oh, a struggle for me is um, I'm still trying to figure out when, when I can fit my, when is a good time. Like I can count on doing my business throughout the day. Um, so I'm kind of playing with that as far as homeschooling, you know, do I do it before? Do I do it after? Do I wait till the kids are down? Do I just let them do whatever for an hour while I, while I do it? So um, I'm still working through those books, but, uh, but at least every day so far, I've been able to put something into my business, which is awesome. I, I haven't done that consistently in a couple of years. Yeah. So. <laughs> good. That's awesome. All good things. And yeah, once you, I mean, I don't know about you, but my, my kind of days definitely vary. And so at least every time when I lay, lay down on bed, I'm like, all right, I, at least I touched my business. I did something. It may not have been, you know, the most amazing thing that I wanted to try to get done, but I touched my business. So, right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good. And you're on top of it, fig figuring out something that works for your, your schedule and DMO. So perfect. Do you feel confident enough with like verbiage and everything to start sending messages out for product? You know, um, the, honestly, that's something that I need to, I haven't exercised those muscles regularly in a while. I, I do, I need, I do need to practice that more. Um, I have touched base with my um, accountability partner, at least on Voxer. So this week I really want to focus on and on using her to practice that, um, you know, our, our, our daily activity using her with that. So I, I do need to practice more of my verbiage for sure. Okay. Awesome. Yep. And the more you do it, the easier it'll come. Yeah. Don't overthink it. It's if I can, like, give, like a, a little, do what? It's a muscle. You got to work yeah, it. Or exactly. Actually. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. The more yeah. you do it, it'll just come off of the tongue so easy. So, and yeah. don't be scared to post it in the group too, because mm -hmm. then, um, like uh, maybe go live in the group or something and, and say it or type it in our SC select group. That way everybody else can kind of see the verbiage as well okay. um, for both business and product. Cool. Okay. Melissa, do you have anything? How was your week? Um, my, my week was pretty good. I um, messaged 25 people. Nice. Um, some of them are, um, teachers who I sent information about the tower gardens and I'm hoping to try to get them into their school system. And then also maybe they might be personally interested. Um, I also reached out to a couple gyms um, to see if we can, if I can do like a table there. Um, and in terms of response, I ha I've gotten a couple no's, but then I've gotten nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got to figure out kind of, follow up. <laughs> um, yeah. Sometimes I forget about them and I'm like, oh wait, that person never responded. So I need to follow up with them. Um, so yeah. So so exactly that. That verbiage that you just said is usually what I kind of break the ice again with if they haven't ever said anything to me. Yeah. And I usually do it like one more time, but I do, I always put it on myself. Like, I'm so sorry. I meant to follow up, you know, last week, but yeah. Busy, so I just wanted to let you know I'm here if you have any questions still. So. Yes. Just, Perfect. Um, I would, and I also have been working on um, uh, an event for November with, um, uh, LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe, um, person that Kristen knows we're going to do, something at a friend's house in November, which is awesome. 
awesome. Because um, that could be a lot of people that will mm-hmm. show up for that. Yep. Um, yeah, people love leggings. I know, yeah. I know, I like those leggings too. <laughs> um, um, and that way I can get my friends who like are totally avoiding me on this to like try stuff, which will be yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, maybe that'll change their mind. Yeah. Um, things that I've been struggling with. Um, I think, like I said, you know, just getting people to respond. Mm-hmm. Um, I think too, for me, um, and this may or may not be too much information. I'm, I'm going through fertility treatments. So I have a lot of hormones going in my body that really have impacted my um, overall mental health. Mm-hmm. So um, in addition to my physical health, <laughs> it's, it's a fun ride. So it's hard for me because there are just days where it, it has basically ca- created like um, anxiety for me, like um, panic attacks and anxiety. So it's hard for me to sort of separate, is this me or is this like just the reaction of this stuff? So um, that's, been, that's been a bit of a challenge, um, just in terms of like being in the right mind frame to kind of start to do things. Um, and that's this, this hopefully won't be going on forever, but it, you know, it's something that is a reality in my life right now. So that, um, at first I thought I was going crazy, but then I realized, no, I'm not. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> hormones. hormones. Blame it on all the hormones. Oh my it. God. Yeah. Blame it on the hormones. That's, that's been a bit of a challenge because, you know, I just don't know how I'm going to do it day to day, but I, I'm, st- I'm on the, I'm on the positive side now cause I'm off of it and feeling better, but it definitely, it definitely makes it harder. Yeah. To get, yeah. I mean, to get like, even how I was feeling last week on the call, I was just like a completely different person. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> well, but the good thing is you're really aware of that. Yeah. And you know, you're doing what you can do and you're being honest and you know, it's all good. Yeah. Um, oh, the other thing too, the other challenge is I broke up with my only distributor that I had, <laughs> who was also my childhood best friend, but mm-hmm. like, didn't get it at all and was making it so difficult. So we finally agreed for her not to be a part of this. And so now I can take back her clients who I've been extremely concerned about because I don't think she's been able to do anything for them. Um, So that's another thing I need to work on. But I also, that means that I have now I have zero. So I have to start again and try to, you know, continue to build this team. Yeah. But that's okay. If she wasn't really working the business anyways, then yeah, you're, yeah. you're kind of in the same spot as you were. What's really cool is that you can now have an opportunity with her customers to call. I would yes. absolutely call every single customer and just touch base with them, introduce Oh, yeah. Them. Well, I and, knew that. I knew them. I gave them okay, to her. We, yeah. So... Yeah. So that could always segue into, you know, find out their stories, how they're doing on Juice Plus, what they've experienced. Yeah. Try exactly. to probe with that, that story. And you never know, some of those customers might be able, might be interested in looking at the business opportunity as well. Yeah. Or, and I'm even thinking of asking one of them to host a Facebook party. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm very excited to get, to get at least the one, there's one client back, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm less excited that I need to find more distributors. <laughs> yeah. But you have to remember that it's not like where we were with Robin is she yeah. going to do anything anyway. So you were still going to have to get those three distributors she was kind of sitting with their thumb up her butt. Yeah. For lack of a better word. Like, um, uh, building so, a wall. She was building a giant wall. <laughs> yeah. So try and think of it as like not so much like a loss as actually like like kind of cleaning it. Like, woo, done with that. I don't have to yeah. worry about trying to drag yeah. the money anymore. You know, yeah. like, exactly. It's, it's a relief because it was. I know it was causing a lot of like a little bit of frustration and anxiety of like, and it is, and I've dealt with it so many times where you would like try and like drag this person through the mud and you're like, why won't they just do it? Why won't they return my calls? Yeah. And really, like they're just not ready. Yeah. So sometimes it's so much easier just to be like, you know what? We're just, we're just going to say no more and just move on and focus yep. on the positive people that we can bring on. that are really excited about business. Yep. Yeah. I agree. You don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a relief yeah, for oh. me. It was a relief for me. Believe me. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely. And who knows, maybe she, maybe just the business side mindset doesn't 
maybe she'll send you people. You just, you know, you yeah. Never know. Yeah. Um, and then you and Siobhan were able to connect on, on Voxer. Is that right? Um, yeah, we've, we've connected. I think we're at sort of a, I don't, I'm hoping we can get a little bit deeper, but you know, we're sort of just telling each other what we're doing. Yeah. Um, but I think, I mean, I, I know I could benefit from like hearing different approaches and stuff like that. So you know, we'll work on that. But yeah, we've started, we've started to connect, which is good. Okay. Perfect. And um, don't be scared to reach out to anybody else in this group too. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, even if like, if you guys were interested in like setting up, you know, like, um, like a messenger or a Voxer, you know, with you guys as a group, um, I don't want to add more boxers or more, you know, messages to you guys. Cause I know like sometimes I have so many, I'm like, holy guacamole. But if it would benefit you guys as a group to kind of like share those struggles and, you know, I don't know if that's something that Amy and Christy would, would let us do. Cause I know we already have the accountability buddies, but, um, I mean, that's what we have the face group Facebook. for as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but just to know that like, if for some reason you can't get a hold of your accountability buddy or, you know, for whatever reason, or they're just not, you know, able to help you with an answer that you were looking for. Um, obviously, if Cassie and I aren't available, which would be rare, but, um, you know, to know that you also except have a today when my phone got a virus. <laughs> yeah, except that I, I still was, was able yeah. to connect with you. So it totally worked out. You know, um, but, but just know that you guys still have each other and this like support system, you know? So like you've got like Cassie and I who are kind of like your little mama bears a little bit, but then like you've got like each other, you know, kind of holding you up. So yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So we go ahead, Kristen. Oh, do you want, do you want to go on to homework for this week? Yeah, because we okay. kind of talked about the GMO. I feel like everybody pretty much touched on their GMO too. Yeah, and Lindsay, we definitely can help you as well with um, you, you, there's you know different things for different people. I know um, Amy's talked to you about it, that work for a DMO for a daily method of operation. Um, and you know there's the actual DMO sheet. You know there's you know whether you actually have to block out like a time in your calendar like whatever works for you and, and we're happy to help you you know kind of figure that out um and figure out what works best for you because uh, i know that's a challenge and, and as a mom i think it changes every day you know like <laughs> like it's like some days like you ha can like sit down for two hours and some days you can't so maybe yeah. you have to like close the door to the bathroom and tell them you're going to the bathroom and <laughs> send yeah. five messages yeah uh, yeah. So we definitely can help you try and figure, you know, work, work you through that. Okay. And I don't know if y'all, this really, I don't, did I talk about this the last time? I don't feel like I did. But on our call um, that we had with the, the conference recap, Pam um, on our team, she at the end was just kind of like, you know, we, we, especially, I don't know if you're, I have to be organized or I feel like I have to be organized. I feel like I have to have everything in order and listed perfectly and right before I can do anything. And I have completely had to change my mindset on that because that was keeping never me gonna happen. doing stuff. Right. I'm like, it's never going to be organized. My life is always going to be chaotic and it's okay. We'll make it through. Um, but I think like that is the most important thing is just to be getting those messages out, contacting, getting those conversations started about both business and product. Yeah. That's where you're going to see your business go. Not me filing stuff and organizing my whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I always I would say you have a place for that, but yeah. I always have to ask myself, is this revenue generating? Right. Yeah. And if it's okay. not, I have to stop yeah. doing yeah. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Um, okay. So for homework for this week, um, there is, I know, I think I maybe have mentioned this to Melissa before and you guys have maybe heard of it, but, um, there is a movie and it's about an hour long. It's called rise of the entrepreneur. And I love it. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but it is a fantastic, fantastic movie. Yeah. Lindsay seen it. Um, yeah. so it, it basically talks about, um, like network marketing and, and how network marketing is kind of like the future of what businesses are, are becoming. 
and how these, you know, entrepreneurs are, are being made through, you know, through network marketing companies. And I think it's just amazing for us with what we do in this, in this business for, for us to watch. I keep getting Mike to watch, to watch it and he just can't sit down and watch it. So I always want to encourage people to, if you can get your spouse to try and watch it with you, it's amazing. But if you can't, um, no judgment cause I can't get mine too. So, uh, but so we would love for you guys to use, I know that is not ge revenue generating. However, it is going to help build the belief in um, the business and help to kind of give you that confidence when you go out and talk to people to know that you are working in an industry that is really spectacular. So I will post that link on our team page, on our SC call page. <clears throat> um, so rise the entrepreneur. And then we want you guys to continue to message um, five, five messages a day. Um, and this one's going to be, we want you to do business. And we can definitely help you with verbiage on that. Yes. I'm like, yes, Kristen, question? Yes. Yeah, sorry. I thought we were supposed to be leading with the business last week, too. Uh, we did. Do we want to change that, Cassie, or keep doing business? I think keep doing business just in, this, in where you guys are. Because if you lead with the business then and they say no to the business, then you can always still follow up with the product. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been doing. So that's still okay. what we're doing this okay. week. Yeah. Then. Just keep, keep messaging. Yeah. So five a day. And, and I know that... Um, in reality, like the reason why we want you guys to kind of do five a day is to make sure that you're doing something with your business every day, but life can take over and sometimes you can't always do stuff that you need to do every day. So if you do need to do like 10 people on Tuesday and because you weren't able to message people on Monday, like that's okay. We just want to make sure that we're kind of getting that ball rolling with, you know, messaging people every day. And eventually it'll get really easy. Eventually you're going to be able to fire out five messages to people really, really quickly. Um, and it'll take no time at all. So five messages with the business. And if you guys need ideas with like how to meet more people, um, and how to goof, I think we have actually the goofing call. So I just got an idea for, for, for next week's call. Um, but so continue to message your five people a day and reach out to us if you need any help with verbiage at all. Um, we've been doing a lot of texting blitzes following up from conference. So if you guys need help with verbiage, please definitely reach out to, to us about it. And then we also want to make sure that you guys, if you weren't on the call to watch the recap of conference, um, our cues did an amazing job of recapping conference. It was spectacular. So if you have not had a chance to watch that video, um, please definitely do so. Where, where is that? Um, it should be posted. I'll tag you in it. It, okay. it should be posted on, um, the team trigger team PCS. Yeah, I think it was, we create an event that was wrap up, um, St. Louis conference wrap up and it should be posted in there. Okay. Um, so I will oh, sure. and tag you in it. Yeah. Kristen, what, um, just a quick question. The, on the sort of new updates on incentives, uh -huh. there, was, there was two, right? There was like, yeah. but only one of them applies to us, right? And that's the bonus that you would get for SC. SC yes, and, yes and no. Because remember, as sponsors, if anyone under you fast tracks to VF, they're oh. going to get that $300 and so are you. So okay. your sponsor bonus increases too. Yeah. So okay. now you guys are looking at raking in, you know, $750 for yourself and $300 for every VF. So, which yeah, is that's it? huge bonus potential right yeah. now. Super, super awesome. But that's, and yeah. that's only until the, the end of the year, right? December yeah. 30th. Just okay. until December. Mm -hmm. And the reason they did that is because they did this summer surge program where they, um, you know, ha said if you were customer qualified, um, like three months in a row, you, you know, got like this lanyard at conference in this bag. And at first when they had it, I was like, oh, that's so silly. Like I'm like a lanyard. But when I got to conference, I was like, this is really cool. I've got this like sparkly lanyard and I got this bag. Like it was, it was really neat. And then you got like a tag that said summer surge and they had such success with it. And like, it was huge. Like the, you know, like the, um, increase in, 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 you know, sales and complete orders was like out of this world. So they wanted to keep that momentum going. So they liked the idea of giving people an incentive because people like incentives. So now they're throwing money in the pot, which everybody loves. So, so they're looking to have the next Especially one. right before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And Hanukkah. Don't forget about us Jews. And Hanukkah. <laughs> I am sorry. I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say next. 
<laughs> but what an amazing time to come into the business and at least try it for two months. Yeah. I mean, see, see what the next two months can do for a $50 investment. Come on. It's like, oh, it's just a no brainer. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So awesome. So I will post rise the entrepreneur link, um, on our team, on our group page and, um, our other homework assignments, which is message by people a day, but you guys have been doing that and doing such a great job. Um, and if you guys want to up the ante and, you know, message more people game on. And again, if you need help with verbiage, I feel like that's all I've been doing the last couple of days. So my verbiage muscles are like super, super strong right now. <laughs> so all right. I yes. A question. I'm sorry. No, oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Ask away. What are we supposed to be doing with our accountability buddies? Oh, that's a great question. So we want you guys to be checking in with each other, you know, almost on a daily basis and kind of sharing, you know, sharing with each other, you know, what you're doing for one, but also kind of getting to know each other and kind of pushing each other. So um, Cassie and I are accountability partners, but we're like, we don't talk that much. We need to talk more, Cassie, actually. That should be like our homework. Um, <laughs> but like, so, you know, sometimes like Kelsey for a long time is, was my accountability buddy. And I would always message her and I'd be like, all right, Kelsey, like I'm having like a rough morning. I am off to not a great start. Like I don't have a plan today. Like, what are you, what are you doing today? Tell me what you're doing. And she'd be like, all right. So I'm going to print out like all my PPC reports and I'm going to go through them mm -hmm. and, you know, message people that I haven't messaged in, you know, a year, like people that canceled their order. She's like, that's what you need to do. And I'm like, awesome. Great idea. And sometimes she'll message me and do the same thing. So you kind of want to like push each other and just be, um, you know, like a, a sideline buddy to each other and make sure that you guys are both moving your business in like a positive way. Um, you know, and just kind of bouncing ideas off of each other, you know? Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right, ladies. Well, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful. Oh, thank you. One more thing before we go. <laughs> Sorry, Amy was boxing me and I on purpose was ignoring my boxer because I was talking to you ladies and she was like, point, read me, read me. <laughs> okay. So yes. Okay. So tomorrow you guys, we have a, a uh, 10 day shred Facebook party. Um, Amy probably invited you all to it, but we are trying to do a huge 10 day shred. That's going to be starting November 7th. So we're hosting a big, big, big 10 day shred Facebook party tomorrow. Um, if you need verbiage to invite people, let us know and we can get that to you. But we really want to try and push this, um, get these people on a 10 day shred, you know, and launch them into T30 and T120. Uh, so if you have not been inviting to that, this is also a great opportunity to maybe send out some messages tomorrow about the 10 day shred. Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Part of our homework. I want you guys to message um, people tomorrow, five to 10 people and invite them to this 10 day shred um, Facebook party. What time is that one? It is at, I believe it's nine Eastern standard, but let me double check here. Okay, because I have one for a customer at eight thirty, So then I could just jump onto that one. <laughs> yep. And Amy, yes, I can create verbiage and put it on team trigger. Yep. It's at nine Eastern standard. Let me put that on my to-do list. Yeah, so what I will do is on um, our Team Trigger and Team PCS page, I will post verbiage on how to, like the basically how you're going to invite people um, to that event. So I'm going to do that after our calls tonight, and you guys can use that to message people tomorrow, to, you know, tonight and tomorrow to invite them to it. Oh. Me create verbiage? Boss lady, why don't you just unmute your thing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm having this conversation okay. with Amy. On um, okay, yes. Yeah, so I will create verbiage. Yeah, I was working out, so I couldn't. And I, I, what I was asking you, uh, Obi Wan, is for you to create verbiage since you are so well versed in your muscles are much. Yes. <laughs> yes, Master. I will create verbiage for you guys all, and I will post it on our Team Trigger and Team PCS page. Um, for you to invite, to send to people to invite for the 10 day shred. <laughs> Man, that was a roundabout. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I'm so excited for this week for you guys and great things to come of it. Bye you guys. Bye. See ya. Good night. Good night everybody.
Bye. <laughs>